known as PQ. And we're going to talk about what it is, how we can build our positive intelligence, and what are some techniques that we can use to do that. I want to provide you with some background knowledge on what positive intelligence actually is. Shirzad Shamin authored a best-selling positive intelligence book and does some coach training. Um, I was able to participate in a six-week program reading his book and going through uh, the different activities throughout that six weeks to help build my positive intelligence quotient. And basically, it is the strength of your positive mental muscles versus the, the negative muscles in your brain, in your way of thinking. And so boosting your mental fitness requires building powerful new muscles in your brain, which in turn then strengthen, strengthens your PQ. And there are three core muscles that this kind of talks about and focuses on. Your saboteur, which is where all of the negative emotions come from. The sage, which is the part of your brain where the positive emotions are coming from. And then the self-command, which is you running your brain instead of the saboteur running your brain. And I will show you in a little bit what this positiveintelligence.com looks like so that you can take a quiz to see what your PQ score is. And so again, it's your sage versus your saboteur. The saboteur is and has helped us survive some real or imagined threats based on our own individual lived experiences. These have become then soft coded in our brain, creating these neural pathways and like hijacking and taking over our brain. The judge is the ultimate internal enemy. Everybody's got one of those. It's that voice that comes in and uh, takes over and maybe we're not as confident as we were or we start to question our abilities uh, in reasoning. And then you have the sage, which that again generates the positive emotions and creates a better overall performance and just more happiness. And what you can do on positiveintelligence.com is find out your PQ score in less than two minutes, maybe a little more than two minutes. And again, that's going to kind of tell you where you're at. You know that we can figure out how then to create tools so that we're using our sage and we're introducing our sage more. The saboteurs are different ways in which we self-sabotage. And so along with the judge, you can take a free assessment that will tell you some other accomplices in your head. Uh, and then if you would like to, you could learn more about all of the saboteurs. There's a controller, the avoider, hyperachiever, hyperrational, hypervigilant, your judge, your pleaser, restless, stickler, and victim. And based on our lived experiences, which are all different, we may have be that relate to what our lived experiences have been. It provides you with a description, some thoughts, some feelings, like what is your, what is the lie that this saboteur is telling you in your head and how it can impact you. It also goes into like the origin of the saboteurs. And here are just the, the motivation of the saboteurs and the style. So are you more of an avoider, earner, or assertive? And then on the top, like independence, acceptance, or security. My top three are the controller, uh, restless, and hypervigilant. So as I learned more about those things, I learned a lot more about myself and how I relate to things that have happened in my life, but also how that affects the way that I go about things as well. So the training is all about mindfulness. And the first step is recognizing when the saboteurs are coming and when the judge is showing up in your mind and in your thoughts. Once you recognize those, then you can start to understand and work through 
some mindfulness activities. And that could be just taking um, a couple of minutes, like a minute or so, just to rub your two fingers together and feel um, and feel like the ridges in your, and just be mindful of your surroundings. It could be a mindfulness walk. It could be uh, a, some box breathing techniques. When you're noticing your saboteurs and the judge, shifting into some sort of mindfulness activity then like stops that neural pathway. And then you're able to move into commanding that shift and moving into the sage and building new pathways so that you can create positive habits. Again, if you'd like to learn more about positive intelligence and take any of the assessments, they are free for you. And it can provide you with some really good insight into um, how your mind works and how you can stop it from self-sabotaging you.